channel my name is Ronx and if you don't know now you know it feels so weird saying that again like it feels like it's been so long but it's, I've only been gone a month but I'm back now I'm back um before I start I'll just like to say happy new year to everyone and to the new subscribers welcome to the gang um it's nice to have you here hopefully you'll be staying so let's get straight to the point yeah you guys have already seen the title you know what this is about basically i saw on instagram like there's 70 crazy questions 70 horrible questions but i went through it and turns out there's only 60 and i thought it would probably be a good idea let me use this as a little get to know me because guys can you believe i've been on youtube a year and i haven't done a get to know me like do you guys even know me do you guys even know me you do, do you know do you know ronks like do you know ronke no you don't know either do you know? <laughs> okay let's get straight to it so um Question one, do you have a good relationship with your parents? <laughs> Someone's gonna get offended. Um, I don't personally feel like I have a good relationship with either parent. Um, that's, I don't know if it's anything to do with them. I can't really put down anyone in particular, but I feel like my household isn't really that um, feely, you know, huggy, touchy, all that kind of thing. I feel like it's a very like African, like sort of um traditional african household in it where it's like my son all that kind of stuff in it um but when i was younger because i was probably close to my dad like a little bit like i remember um i used to watch formula one with him um what do you call it he used to tell stories about um when he was younger about his family about um his like i guess history or whatever about how he traveled to like italy and all those kind of places and he used to read his bedtime stories as well so yeah i was kind of i would say i was kind of close to my dad when i was younger but right now i don't really feel like i'm close to anyone um i honestly cannot say that i know the answer to this question i don't think i say it often but when i say it, i mean it and say no it's real um i feel like the things I could regret made me who I am today so I wouldn't say I regret anything as such because I don't think I'll be wrong here without it like even though it was it was hard phases in life it was tough but fam, you guys wouldn't be getting this quality wrong without it man come on look at me <laughs> are you insecure you're insecure <laughs> don't know what, um question four um uh, i wouldn't say i'm insecure <sighs> at least i don't think so anyway i really try not to be and especially when i'm insecure about something or i feel uncomfortable about something i like to push myself out there so it's not something that's easily noticeable um for instance i used to feel really uncomfortable about my skin in general like the roughness the like patchiness like all that kind of stuff like different shades like my chest is lighter than my um rest of my face so it's hard for me to wear like low cut tops and all that kind of stuff but fam that's life and but i'm okay with it now honestly when i feel uncomfortable about something i like to push myself out there i like to show it more so it something i become more comfortable with like i used to be uncomfortable showing my legs because um I just wasn't comfortable with it so i used to basically force myself gradually to wear like um dresses and all that kind of you know girly girly stuff but uh, um yeah but now i'm okay with it like um, i'm a bad bee. you can't kill me <laughs> you ready to fucking die no yeah i'm a bad bitch you can't kill me what is your relationship status <laughs> what is my relationship status single <laughs> single <laughs> yeah it is how do you want to die i don't know who made these questions but this i don't know i don't know it's peacefully the right answer to that question i think that's that's the only answer yeah it has to be peacefully i don't want some sort of um, final destination death that would be 
that would be scary. <laughs> I lost eight. What did I eat? I ate Chinese food, okay? So I had um, egg fried rice, <laughs> egg fried rice with white rice, um, chicken, I mean, not chicken, king prawn curry and beef curry. Yeah, and I had water with it. How healthy. <laughs> I think the last sport I played was at uni and I think it was boxing. No, tell a lie. <laughs> Me and my friend tried out for, well, my friend wanted to try out for the school futsal foot team. And I think I was there for moral support or something like that. So I tried out as well. And we made the first team. So <laughs> yeah, I think that was the last time I played any sort of sport. Do you bite your nails? No, because that is nasty. And at this age, if you still do that, then I don't know for you. Don't you hate if those people who like doing tiny, tiny nails? That's what creeps me out the most, sorry. But I feel like that would be the only thing that will put me off from a guy. Like if I ever liked a guy and I was in love and all that, and I saw the nails are like that, actually there's no, I wouldn't fall in love without seeing the nails because that can really put me off someone. <laughs> no offense, sorry if you have nails like that. I'm really sorry, but it makes you uncomfortable. When was your last physical fight? <laughs> Listen, this question is funny because my one and only fight, this is my one and only fight. This was my one and only fight. And it was so dumb because it started off as like a joke, but one of my other male friends, you know when someone like tempts you and they're like, if that was me, I wouldn't have it. And me, I was like, I'm not a dickhead. I'm not a freak. So I was like, no, I'm not having it. And even though it started off as a joke, it went left real quick. Like it got real physical, but we're cool now. <laughs> Do you like someone? Um, I like my friends. <laughs> I like my family. Have you have you ever stayed up past? Uh, have you ever stayed up eighty four hours? Sorry, guys. I don't know. I can't read this. Have you ever stayed up eighty four hours? Um, I don't think so. Eighty four hours. That's two days. I don't think so. I think the closest I've ever got to it. I think I've stayed up past twenty four hours before whilst I was doing my disco at uni. Like literally, we were in the trenches for that last month of uni. Literally, wake up, sleeping. in, well, I say we, but I mean my friends. I went back home to sleep because I need my sleep to concentrate, okay? But I came back in the morning, subway breakfast, subway lunch, subway dinner. <laughs> Shout out Brunel gang. <laughs> Do you hate anyone at the moment? Hate is such a strong word, guys. But no, I don't hate anyone. I don't think I ever will. Do you miss someone? Um, I don't think I miss someone. Everyone I talk to is in my life and I try to keep up with my friends regularly, you know, like a good friend supposed to do. <laughs> but no, I don't miss anyone. Do you have any pets? No, I do not have any pets. But I do, in the future, want one of those, um, I don't know, um, they're not, I was about to say pomegranate, but that's a fruit. <laughs> I think pomegranate. It's a white fluffy dog that's the small one. Like you can probably fit it in like a handbag. It's the number 16. How are you feeling at the moment? I'm feeling good. Like I've I've been feeling very good the, these um last couple of weeks and I'm happy for that. I thank God. Because previously <laughs> on this episode, <laughs> previously um on in the life of wrongs, um we had some tough times, we had some trying times, you know, but God saw me through it. What can I say? This question, yeah. <laughs> um, have you ever made out in the bathroom? Um, yes. <laughs> well, we're not going into detail on that one. <laughs> Are you scared of spiders? I mean, I feel like that's a stupid question. Is there, like, is any normal person not scared of spiders? Would you go back in time if you're given a chance? Nope. <laughs> no siree. <laughs> Fam, have you guys not seen those movies where they go back in time and then they mess up the whole space-time continuum and then um, they can't, when they go back to the real life, everything is changed and someone's dead and someone's not alive anymore and one baby's born and then they're fading like in flipping, is it um, Avengers or whatever? No, I will not go back in time to change anything because nothing is worth going back in time for. Yeah, sorry. Where was the last place you snogged someone? I am not going to answer this question because I feel like this is going to get me in a lot more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> yeah. What are your plans for this weekend? Um, I don't know. Record some videos, I guess. I don't know. 
home. It's a Saturday, so what have I got planned for tomorrow? Tomorrow I got church, and then record some more videos, I guess. But what are you waiting for? I don't know. Something amazing, I guess. Do you want to have kids, and how many? Yes, and free. Free. <laughs> The thing with kids is, yeah, like having kids actually scares me. I don't tell a lot of people that, but it actually scares me. Like the whole process, like before birth, conception, all that kind of stuff. Like death is a possibility and that scares me quite a bit. And then also what if like the child grows up and doesn't like me or I don't like the child. Like I, I, I don't know, maybe because I'm, maybe I'm overthinking all this stuff, but child bearing is a it's a bit of a touchy subject for me because i'm i'm not too sure i i found i'm boy <laughs> do you have piercings how many i have one two three four five five piercings yeah but i do want to get my nose pierced but i know my mom is a bit mad and i know she's probably watching this video i'm thinking a lot of my jay <laughs> what is our were your best subjects Probably psychology and biology from um, A levels. Not even because I was good at them, because <laughs> I wasn't, but because I enjoyed learning. Um, I enjoyed learning about them, and as I learn, um, they're kind of like interlinked in some um, modules on some topics like serotonin and all that kind of stuff. And psychology, same with biology. Da 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 da. Like science is actually quite interesting. Who would have thought? Do you miss anyone from your past? Nope. F them niggas, man. <laughs> what are you craving right now? Um, I don't think I'm craving nothing at the moment. <laughs> money? I mean, a girl can do with some money. <laughs> 27. Have you ever broken someone's heart? <laughs> Shit, have I? <laughs> have I? <laughs> no, actually, I don't think I have. I don't think so. I don't think. I have you that. ever been cheated on? Technically, no. Um, at least not that I know of. Have you made a boyfriend slash girlfriend cry? Um, no, not me directly. <laughs> no, what's no. irritating you right now? What's irritating me right now? I don't know. Niggas. <laughs> Niggas always irritating. Niggas are always irritating. I don't know why I slip in and out of an American accent. It's actually very bad. I've been to America once. <laughs> I don't know why I keep slipping into this accent. Does somebody love you? <laughs> Shit. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what is your favorite color? You know what? This is this is a <sighs> Okay, let me just get straight to it. My favorite color is pink, but not because it's my favorite color like it's, it's just like unconsciously or subconsciously it's pink because i don't intentionally buy pink stuff but i have so many pink stuff like my bed sheets right now are pink my work bag up, um is pink my laptop used to be pink my phone case used to be pink as well there was something else that was pink i don't know but i just I just stumble upon these stuff. Like when I buy stuff, it just happens to be in pink. I don't know why. I used to say my favorite color was green and purple, like neon green and purple, but I guess it's pink. Oh yeah, my chair is pink too. Like the chair is pink as well. Can you see that? Can you all see this? Can you, can you all see that? <laughs> the chair is pink. Do you have trust issues? Um, I honestly don't think so. Like, I've literally been told I'm an open book. Like, I don't think so. If anything, I've also been told that I probably open up too much as well. Like, too quickly, in fact, not too much, too quickly. But yeah, I don't think I have trust issues. <laughs> what slash who was the last dream about? Can't answer this question either, sorry. Who was the last person you cried in front of? Um. I need to remember the last time I cried first. I don't know, you know. I remember who I cried about, but I don't think I cried too anyway. I just, I just cried in my pillow, man. You know, cause niggas die every day, man. Hey yo, hey niggas get shot every day, B. You be I right, nigga. You tough, right? Do you give out second chances easily? Yes, and I definitely need to stop because half of those niggas don't even deserve it. Yeah. 
Is it easier to forgive or forget? Well, unless you have some sort of memory, what's the neatness? No. Some sort of memory issues are you're not good at remembering stuff. I don't think it will be easier to forget than to forgive. Is this year the best year of your life? Best year so far, yes. Since how old were you when you had your first kiss? Um, I think I was about 14, 15. Have you ever walked outside completely naked? Um, no. Believe it or not, I'm actually kind of self-conscious about my body. Like, yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like it. Like if you go on my Instagram or if you just see me on a um, regular basis, but I actually kind of am. But yeah, no, I've never walked out completely naked. I think that's a weird thing to do. I think it's illegal too. Um, favorite food, favorite food. What is my favorite food? Right now it's jerk shrimp pasta. Like, I don't think I'm, it will take a while for me to get tired of it. Like I absolutely love it right now. Next to that, in terms of Nigerian food, because I'm Nigerian, in case you didn't know this, um, is um, pan jam and um, F4 legacy. Do you believe everything happens for a reason? Uh, yes, I do. Um, everyone's got their purpose in life and I feel like things happen to, things are gonna happen regardless and I feel like God will guide you to the same place regardless of if you make um, a mistake or not. Because you know, he's a forgiving God, amen. I'm sorry, I just clicked, I didn't really answer the question. Did it answer the question? Do you believe things happen for a reason? Yes, I believe things happen for a reason. What was the last thing I did before I went to bed last night? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, uh, what did I do last? I was probably scrolling through Instagram or Twitter or something. Is cheating ever okay? No, when is it ever okay? I don't care if someone cheated on you and you're cheating back, but... <laughs> I don't think cheating is ever okay. I'm sorry, Keisha. No, you should not have cheated. Cheating is not okay. <laughs> Are you mean? Um, I can be, but at the same time, maybe you guys are just too, it's not you guys, but maybe some people are just too sensitive, you know? So I just can't make those kind of jokes with you anymore, you know? I think you take things really sensitively and that's fine. No, I, just I just need to not was... make those jokes with you. No, I don't think they're, I think they're just like rude. But to me, it's a joke. To you, it's rude. So I won't make them to you because you don't take it the way that I'm meaning it, which is- How many people have you fist fought? Um, none, really, unless you're gonna count that fight that I mentioned earlier. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fighter, I'm a lover. Do you believe in true love? Fam. And I don't know if there's a soulmate for everyone or everyone can only love one person. I don't know. That's a, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Love is overrated, don't you think? Do you like the snow? Um, for aesthetic aesthetic purposes, yes. But I don't think I genuinely like being in the snow. Like, I'm not built for that sort of weather. Um, favorite weather: sunny, hot, anything above like 28 degrees. Do you want to get married? Good question. Um, yeah, of course I do. But right now, I'm not too. Um, you know, first about if I have a wedding or not. Probably not. Is it cute when a boy or girl calls you baby? Most definitely. I feel like that's just such an endearing um, name. I'll feel some sort of way if you only start calling me and then you went back to calling me my by my actual government name. I'm just like, is there is there a problem? Are we having problems? What makes you happy? Um, being with the person I love. Being with the people I love. Shall I say? Would you change your name? No, absolutely not. I like my name. I did not care. Like Nigerian names have like other other names have meanings too. Nigerian names have meanings, and my name. Uh, wow. The meaning of my name is um, the crown has found something worth nourishing to care for. Or I'm reading over there because it says my name on it. Um, the crown has found something to pamper worth nourishing. Would it be hard to kiss the last person you kissed? Um, it wouldn't be hard, but I don't know if I'll do it. Your best friend of the opposite sex likes you. What do you do? Um, I hear your partner should be your best friend anyway. So best friend, let's go get it. <laughs> I'm joking, no, I'm not joking at all. I'm not joking. Do you have a friend of the opposite sex you can act your complete self around? Um, 
I feel like I put myself around all my friends. Like, if you're my friend, you should like expect, you know, the whole me, the full me, you know, the full rant, you know. Who was the last person of the opposite sex you talked to? Um, my friend Rudy. Who's the last person you had a deep conversation with? Um, the last deep conversation I remember was like literally months ago, and who was it with? Uh, oh, um yeah sorry i'm not even gonna say a name i'm i'm compromising this is compromising information <laughs> do you believe in soulmates that's a sticky question you see because i don't like the idea of soulmates like i mean it's a great idea like that it's a great idea if everyone finds their soulmate and gets married and lives happy ever after but what happens when your soulmate marries someone else or doesn't realize that they're their soulmate and friends with you or something mad like that and then you are you just there like soulmateless or mateless or what what happens that's why i don't like the idea of it or maybe there just isn't one soulmate for you i don't know i don't make the rules um is there anyone i'll die for um probably my younger brother um yeah like as annoying as he is <laughs> I will, he's probably the only person that um i would die for and i feel like he's just he's got a lot of head of him you know he's a young boy he's like three years younger than me and he's got lots of for me whatnot anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video uh, i hope you got to know me a little more than you did before and yeah this is quite an interesting one i might do i'll probably do a proper get to know me in i don't know months from now and i'll put out questions for you guys i mean i'll put out i'll open my dms for you guys to send me questions is what i was trying to say why am i so nervous <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this and see you in my next one peace out wait don't peace out yeah um the song my in my intro i hope you guys liked it a lot because i really do and the song is by annalee it's called special the song is out on spotify and all um music platforms go and listen to it go stream it all that jazz but yeah um it's been nice it's good to be back see you in my next one peace out a town down